the landscape of Sony's professional camera lineup is poised for a significant transformation with the anticipated release of three groundbreaking models, the Sony a7S IV, a7 V, and the FX32. These releases come at a crucial time when the competition in the professional camera market is intensifying, particularly with recent launches from Canon and Nikon, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in hybrid shooting. The Sony a7S IV, expected to launch later in 2024, represents a fascinating evolution in Sony's video-centric camera lineup. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of this camera is its rumored sensor technology. While initial speculation suggested a dramatic jump to 40 megapixels, recent information points to a more conservative and technically sound approach. The camera is now expected to feature a new partially stacked sensor, similar to the one found in the Nikon Z6 III, offering approximately 24.5 megapixel resolution. This decision would align perfectly with the A7S series' renowned low-light performance and dynamic range capabilities. The new sensor is expected to enable impressive video specifications, including internal full-frame 6K 60p RAW recording, full-frame 1080p at 240fps, and APS-C 4K at 120fps. Interestingly, Rumors suggest the omission of 8K recording, which might seem unusual for Sony's video flagship, but could indicate a focus on optimizing real-world performance over specification sheet supremacy. Moving to the Sony A7V, which has reportedly been delayed to Q1 2025, we're seeing a different approach to evolution. The camera is rumored to feature a significant resolution increase to 44 megapixels, positioning it strategically between the existing A7IV and the higher-end A1 and A7RV models. This resolution bump would put it in direct competition with cameras like the Canon EOS R5 and Nikon Z8, while maintaining a distinct position in Sony's lineup. However, the most exciting developments for the A7V might not lie in its resolution, but in its computational capabilities. Strong rumors suggest the integration of AI-driven features, possibly similar to the upscaling technology seen in recent Canon models. This could represent a significant shift in Sony's approach to camera technology, embracing the growing trend of computational photography in professional cameras. The A7V is also expected to address some key limitations of its predecessor, such as the relatively modest 10 frames per second burst speed and the crop factor in 4K 60p video recording. Perhaps the most intriguing development in Sony's camera strategy revolves around the FX3 Tissot and its relationship with the A7S IV. Recent rumors suggest that the FX3 II might actually replace the A7S IV entirely, rather than existing alongside it. This would represent a significant shift in Sony's product strategy potentially streamlining their video-centric offerings into a more focused lineup. The FX3 Descent is rumored to feature a 12-megapixel global shutter sensor, though this specification seems somewhat speculative given current technology limitations. More likely, it could share the same sensor technology as the rumored A7S IV, which would make more sense from both a development and market positioning perspective. The potential consolidation of the A7S and FX lines raises interesting questions about Sony's future strategy in the professional video market. The original FX3 was essentially a rehoused A7S III with cinema-focused ergonomics and features, so a merger of these lines could be seen as a natural evolution. The FX3 II would likely maintain the compact form factor of its predecessor, while incorporating professional features like enhanced cooling systems, professional I.O. options, and cinema-oriented body design. When comparing these three cameras, it's clear that Sony is carefully positioning each model for specific user groups while maintaining enough differentiation to avoid cannibalization. The A7V appears targeted at hybrid shooters who need high resolution for stills while maintaining strong video capabilities. Its rumored AI features 
could make it particularly appealing to content creators and wedding photographers who could benefit from computational assistance in challenging shooting situations. The relationship between the A7S IV and FX32 is more complex, especially if they end up being mutually exclusive rather than complementary products. Both cameras would target professional video content creators, but with slightly different approaches. The A7S series has traditionally appealed to hybrid shooters who prioritize video, but still need strong still photography capabilities, while the FX series has been more focused on pure video production. Looking at the broader market impact, these new cameras represent Sony's response to increasing competition in the professional camera space. The integration of AI features, particularly in the A7V, shows Sony's awareness of emerging trends in computational photography. The potential consolidation of the A7S and FX lines could indicate a more streamlined approach to their professional video offerings, possibly making it easier for customers to choose the right tool for their needs. In terms of improvements over their predecessors, all three cameras are expected to bring significant upgrades. The A7S IV, or its FX32 replacement, would likely offer improved processing capabilities, better heat management, and enhanced video features. The A7V's jump in resolution, coupled with AI features and improved burst speed, would make it a more compelling option for professional photographers. The FX3 DAG, whether it replaces the A7S IV or not, would build upon the original FX3's strengths with improved thermal management, updated connectivity options, and potentially groundbreaking sensor technology. The success of these cameras will largely depend on how well Sony balances new technology integration with the proven features that have made their cameras popular among professionals. The potential consolidation of product lines and the integration of AI features suggest that Sony is not just iterating on existing products, but actively rethinking their approach to professional camera design. As the market continues to evolve, with increasing emphasis on hybrid shooting capabilities and computational photography. These new models could represent a significant step forward in professional camera technology. One particularly noteworthy aspect of these upcoming releases is their potential impact on the broader camera industry. Sony's decisions regarding sensor technology, AI implementation, and product line consolidation could influence the direction of camera development across the industry. The company's choice to potentially prioritize real-world performance over specification sheet numbers, especially in the case of the A7S IV's omission of 8K video, might signal a shift in how manufacturers approach camera development. This could lead to a greater emphasis on practical usability and reliability, rather than pushing technical boundaries for marketing purposes. The timing of these releases also coincides with a period of significant change in the professional imaging industry, where the lines between photography and videography continue to blur. Content creators increasingly demand tools that excel at both still and motion capture, while maintaining professional grade reliability and feature sets. Sony's approach with these new models suggests a deep understanding of these evolving market needs, potentially setting new standards for what professionals expect from their imaging tools.